Yo, I'm Mike Skiles, rapper, producer, songwriter, and you're watching Bria's Closet, you heard? Everybody, it's your girl Bria Van Kooten, and today I have Mike Skiles with me. Hello, He's a rapper, man. producer. Make sure you guys check his music out. I will link his SoundCloud in definitely. the description box, so make sure you definitely check it out after you watch the interview. And if you didn't know, if I didn't mention in my first video, this year of Bria's Closet, I want to start doing interviews of upcoming artists, stylists, people in the industry. So yeah, you'll be seeing more <laughs> interviews <laughs> from me. So let's get into the questions. My first question is. In a world full of people <laughs> pursuing this music career, why you? Why should people like listen to you, tune into you? I'll tell you why because I just rap what I see, what I feel, what's really going on. A lot of people tend to think, you know, rap is just a quick way to make money. You know what I'm saying? They feel like there's a get rich quick formula and that's just not the case. You have to really People tend to gravitate to something that's way more authentic. So that's why I feel like people should definitely listen to me because what I'm rapping about is way more authentic than what I hear. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm, nothing against anybody that's doing their own thing. <laughs> Kudos to you. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I just feel like I'm way more authentic than exactly. a lot of artists out there. And I can relate to that because I know people say, like, when they do YouTube videos, obviously you're going to want to watch something that somebody is being real. Yeah. Because people can feel when you're being fake. Exactly. And, and it's crazy. I was know? just having this conversation the other day. It's like, even when you look at a picture, it's like, you know, people tend to, like, enjoy watching the madness and sanity and everything. like Because it's real. You know it's coming from the heart, a deeper place. Mm -hmm. It's coming from your soul. It's not, it's not a mask. It's not a fake picture. It's not something that's just... I put this smile on and you could just say, ah, you know, whatever. It's no, it's, it's real. Right. It's something that can touch you. What is the meaning behind your, your rap name? Mike Scott? Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my name is Michael. So the first three letters of that is M-I-C. Mike, Mike. Exactly. So <laughs> I said, oh, I'll take that. The Scott is a combination of skill and style. Because I feel like I have a acute amount of skill. I have style. <laughs> I never even that's crazy. I'm mad slow. Like I didn't even think about the mic. Like check two one two. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people be like Mike Skylands. Oh me. Okay. So next question: Where was your favorite place to perform, and why? Hmm. My favorite place to perform. That's a hard question. I mean. My favorite <laughs> place to perform, like the best place I perform. Yeah, the best place, like when, because obviously you do performances, so yeah. like when you go out there, the crowd is hyped. Uh, uh, the best place I yeah, perform, like, um, it was this one performance I did at the flat in Brooklyn. Okay. It was like me, and um, I did a song with my boy Trayvon Jamal. Check his music out, he's dope as hell. And, um, we performed our single house kitchen, and I really loved that performance because like I, I felt the energy of the okay, crowd, so, it was yeah. so responsive. Everything was beautiful. The atmosphere was great. You know, my world. He he set like the the venue right. perfectly. Everything okay. was good. The okay. DJ was on point. It was just it was a good vibe. It was a good environment. That's what I mean. Like a good vibe. Like he wasn't there. Yeah. People were just in the audience. Like Who's that. This guy? And I'm not standing outside. <laughs> and then I feel sus because there's a couple of dudes in, in hoodies on the corner. Like like they're about to rob me. Like I mean, exactly. I'm just saying. That's good. That's it good. happens. You know, people tend to try to come out artists for some reason they always think we have money like why like <laughs> i was listening to your song fame <laughs> so <laughs> was that a real life experience you have a real life experience like that because you, you know it, you're um, a rapper i wouldn't like say like i said i'm gonna link all his songs below so you guys can listen to the song fame what i'm talking about but yeah <laughs> i wasn't it wasn't exactly exactly that but I'm ha i've had experiences along that line when people see you doing things with yourself, they see you, you know, trying to make heavy strides and trying to remain positive, they tend to want to creep in your life. You know, they can say, <laughs> they pick up the phone, hey, big head, what's up? Like, you know, I haven't talked to you in a while, hey, stranger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes down, man. Like, it goes down. But there's, there's nothing against that. I feel like if you um, 
if you had a good bond with that person or a good relationship, even if you haven't seen that person in years, it's like, as long as it's, it's authentic, it's real, right. then it should be no problem. So that moves into my next question. Um, let's go. How's your love life? I mean, you have a girlfriend, so yeah. um, how's girl, that? Girl. It's, it's very good. <laughs> I don't speak on it too much. So okay, we tend okay. to keep it private. So. Well, that's good. No, that's good. Now, yeah. I noticed that, though. Because I know you had a girlfriend, but I noticed you don't, like, put that out. Mm -hmm. Like, put that out there. Yeah, because I'm going to tell you, social media is the devil. But, um, <laughs> it, it, you know, a lot of things to con try to compromise the relationship. A lot of people will try to break it down right you know? no i just i just i just tend to feel like i say this if you if you constantly let people give you their two mm -hmm. cents you'll drown in pennies honestly so it's like i just tend to y'all don't need to know about that. <laughs> like this is what i am i'm putting my music for right towards you. that's what's important your exactly. exactly. heart because that's what you're the putting art. out there it's not about oh i'm dating this person and doing that so. exactly I, you won't be seeing me on tmz <laughs> like just <laughs> I'm not that type. No, of I think that's good. I think that's good because I feel like, yes, you want certain things out there, but you want everything. You want yeah, to keep like, some things to yourself. Yeah, you know what I mean. And yeah. people will try to crucify you. So I mean, they, they try to find things and then you know sabotage your situation. So I mean, not saying that all people, right, right, people right. but it happens. So I just tend to try and avoid that and just keep it strictly business. That's good. And is she like that too? Like y'all both? Yeah. So that's good. As long as y'all the same there's page. A lot of love there. Oh yeah, no, 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 of course not, of course. I mean, I don't want to bring up my face, but Beyonce and Jay-Z. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, they do the same thing. Yeah, right? like, I mean, obviously people know they love each other, they're married, they have a child, but they don't put that exactly, out there. Exactly, not important. Exactly, what that's is important true. is they coming out with a new album or a new movie or music. That's, exactly. That's what they're famous for. They're not famous because they're married. They're exactly. famous how for much, the music. How much pictures I take and put on social media right. shouldn't equate to how much I love my partner. Exactly. That's true. What are you working on next? What's your next like project? Because uh, I know you don't want to put everything out there, but like <laughs> I'm still working on my first project, but I got two videos dropping this year. Okay. Um, for my new single, I didn't release it called "They Don't Love You," and my other track that I have on now called "Express Delivery." You can check that out. Um, really, what's taking so long? I was really trying to put a story behind right. the "They Don't Love You" video. Like right. I really wanted to speak to. People. And you finished it now? It's like done? Uh, yeah, or are you still working on it? Like editing and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We're still going through that process, but I really wanted to speak to people. I wanted to be a story because my other videos, you know, they were cool, but um, I just want to do something. Of course, you want to grow. Exactly. As you grow, is, your career is going to grow. So. Exactly. It's growth. It's showing growth, and I just want to continuously do more, do better for the fans. You know, anybody that that does listen to my music or do enjoy anything that I do, I want to get them 110 percent every time. You know what I mean? So. Just, just, just <laughs> yeah. really dope. Just tell me, trust cool. me. That's cool. I'm excited to see that. And I got my, my first mixtape dropping this year. It's, oh, yeah, yeah, that's it's been, I've been pushing when? it back so much time. I can't give you a release date yet. I'm still working on the beats. <laughs> I'm still getting it together. It's a lot going on. I got a couple collaborations I'm trying to get together. It's just, I'm trying to do a lot right now. Exactly. So, Who's your favorite rapper? Like, who inspires you? What oh, inspires man. You? Instead of giving you one, can I give you my top five? Okay. Good to I'll give you that. Tupac definitely, you know, he's a major influence on me. His versatility, definitely. major influence. And DMX. his outspokenness, like, exactly. I know that's yeah. not a word, but he's just so outspoken. Like, yeah, it's definitely, <laughs> like, he, 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 he doesn't hold anything back. Right. And I feel like that's that's how I live my life. I don't hold anything back. There's no filter. I'll just give you what it is. Tupac, DMX, like, even though he has his little, whatever's going on, he's one of the rawest, <laughs> nah. rawest. Rappers I've ever listened to is and that distinctive voice. Oh my god! And then his first album, <laughs> Dark and Hell is Hot." What? I was just watching um "Cradle to the Grave." Yeah, on Saturday. Come on, X is the man. I don't, don't want to sound like I'm B riding, but X is the man. Like, um, Fifty, definitely, just because of his business mindedness. Definitely, definitely. He's from New York. Let's get it. Um, Kanye. Come on, man. Love like, Kanye. I love Kanye. Man. I, love, I love his music. He's He's a great producer. He, he he's actually a, a big in, inspiration on me with the producing. You okay. Because you know his beats is different. Definitely, it's, definitely. It's always evolving. And he switches it up, like with the singing, every time, the rapping. Every time. He's always evolving. Yeah. And he was supposed to be first, but I put him last. Michael Jackson. Okay. Like the greatest okay. to ever do it. And if you don't believe that, you don't know music. Michael <laughs> is the greatest to ever do it. Period. Facts. Because not only did he songwrite, but he also was in the studio making beats. 
Like he would do the beat with his mouth, Listen, and then they would get it on like no, the track. No like. blasphemy. Michael Jackson is God. <laughs> like I don't think you understand. Michael no, Jackson. He really is so is talented. God, like, Nobody it's... knows. Like I feel like people didn't know how amazing he was until they saw um this is it. Yeah. The last like. Man, people should have known how amazing he was when he released Off the Wall, which was a. But people album. still took it for granted. Yeah, exactly. Especially in America, people. I feel like people in like London. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. Loved him more. Musicians, it seems like every everybody outside mm -hmm. appreciates what we're mm -hmm. doing. America don't. <laughs> you know? But the I thing is what I've noticed uh -huh. though, America they don't appreciate their own American artists, but they appreciate the British artists. Because then they love Adele. It's because they're then, so used to it. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's like I guess they grow used to it once you have that familiarity. It's like, uh, okay, okay, I'm tired of you. What's what's the next new thing? I want I want something I guess. new. Yeah, that's like, the American way. We want more, more, more. When you make it, what would be like your dream purchase? One thing. Can't have five. <laughs> One thing. Like, what would be like your big dream? Could be anything. Uh, I'll take it to Egypt or Africa. I don't know. Because before I die, I need to go there. That is, that is my roots. And in order for me to grow spiritually, because Although I know I'm a physical being, I am living in this world, I do take a very deep, deep, deep love for my spiritual side now, and I, and I continuously look to grow that, so I would love to go to my, my motherland. When you look back on your life, how would you say you have impacted the world? Like you're 80 years old, sitting in a rocket chair, <laughs> rocking back and forth. And a bubble pops up, and you look back. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, how would you say, "Oh my God, I, I impacted this world"? Like, I believe I'm gonna impact this world by just continuously making you love life, making you feel positive about yourself, and making you know that you know, no matter what, if you feel like you're an illusion, you can always find truth here. You can always find comfort here. You know what I'm saying? Like every person. I touch, I want them to feel safe. I want them to know that, okay, even though what's going on in the world, it's, it's insane. There's something better. Period. So the next three questions are fashion based because you have to know this is like a fashion, fashion channel. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so my first question is, what is your go-to outfit? Like mm. you wake up, boom. Oh so man, like, I don't want to sound lazy, but it's like when I wake up, I just start making music, so I take top and some shorts. Okay. <laughs> like, okay, Nike. Like, okay, yeah. I understand maybe, that. Maybe I, see I fit that. it. Like, I see that. I see that. How would you describe your style, like your own your style? Um, subtle. Very subtle. <laughs> like, it's just, I'm not loud. I, I don't ever want to be loud. I just want to blend in fashion wise. Oh, yeah. Just like to just like to be calm. calm. And the last question, mm -hmm. what would you want your style to be like when you evolve? Because uh, obviously you're gonna wanna reinvent classic. yourself, change classic. what's like it describe. Like, you know, cardigans. That's, blazers. You know, blazers. That's really what I want. Like that is my goal. That would that would be my goal. So like say award show night, the Grammys. Yeah, I'll probably 20... you know, slacks, blazer, one little chain on my watch, my glasses, of course. The fitted. No, no. No. Like, <laughs> like, it's just the Grammys. You know what I'm saying? I gotta have some type. You of never know these days. You like, never know. Like that's the crazy thing. I might. Because even at the Golden Globes last night, someone had on Concords. With a suit, so it goes down. Like, you know, <laughs> it goes down in the day. Oh my, like, oh my god! But, yeah. You know, people people dress how they want to dress. So the last you thing, know, huh? You like the shirt? Oh, so you know, a little Ralph Lauren. You yeah, know, really a little. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. So that's it for the interview. But I'm gonna play a quick game. I'm gonna ask Mike three, um, well, three words, and then he's gonna say the first thing that comes to his mind when I say these three words. But it has to be like. Oh my gosh, instantaneous. Yeah, so ready? Happiness. Sadness. Love. Happiness. <laughs> Disappointment. Failure. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> but no, I'm a serious no. I want to thank Mike for coming to do I this thank interview. You for having me. Oh, thank you, thank you. No, like we literally were supposed to do this like so long ago. So finally, it finally happened. 
So I definitely want to thank him. Oh. <laughs> no, but I definitely want to thank him, and mm. definitely, you know, because he will make it. I, I putting that out there, and we Always will do in the universe. definitely. Always we will do trash. another update interview. Mm -hmm, definitely. definitely. So I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you do. Leave a comment below, and again, I will leave his SoundCloud link in the description box. So definitely check it out. And thank you guys for watching. And again, you will be seeing way more interviews this year because I She's definitely want to do that. Man. Ashley, Lisa, show your outfit. <laughs> they will see follow me Instagram. I <laughs> <even clear now. laughs> but definitely, you'll be seeing more from myself and him. Definitely, definitely. and I will put his Instagram and stuff. So you can check him out. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Bye. Peace and love. love. Uh -huh. Oh, you love me? Yeah. Well, for sure. Uh, I say they flocking for the fame. They flocking for the fame. She gave me that brain. I don't even know her name. It's insane. Yeah, it's a shame. Uh huh. But it's cool. Yeah, cause of fame. Uh huh. It's the fame. Song from scratch. It's like it feels way better than yeah. just. Going on YouTube and getting beats that people used already. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit is like. It's like when you buy your first anything, like just the feeling of you did it on your own. Like, exactly. It's, it's more value. value. It's way more value. <laughs> like I learned that when my mom stopped buying me shit. Me and you both. Peace and love. Do you say the same thing I say? You're mad and late. <laughs> <laughs> first thing, peace and love. I always say that.